so um, it seems like some of you guys are enjoying it when I do some of these more lessony type videos so as and when I have the feeling to do them I've decided to do them like a little bit more often and so today I was just practicing this little thing and I wanted to show you this so let me know in the comments if you dug this let me know in the comments if this is something you've seen before you've been practicing I think that also helps other folks as well to know that it's not totally made up nonsense or also you know if you want to see more of this sort of thing you could like could subscribe tabs and backing tracks for these videos go up on patreon if you want to support in that way but just leaving a comment and liking or sharing the video also helps too with that out of the way so one of the things that i really like about eric johnson uh is his kind of pentatonic run stuff i was watching a video with Joe Bonamassa and I think he also does something relatively similar and I was instead of thinking about you know anything specific that they're doing I was thinking well what if I wanted to get a bit better at this technique in general um, what would I do so what I would have been playing with today is this idea of so we take our pentatonic shape and we mix it up in this way so that when we're coming back down the scale so we get down up 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 so that we're keeping things always pretty much with the the down up thing and you get that sort of thing so what i'm thinking is if you take your pentatonic box shapes what I want you to think about is that you're going to be playing up the shape and then jump up so that you've got three notes on this top string and then So that's what I've kind of been playing around with today and um, if we try this so just again what I'm doing is adding three notes at the top so sometimes it will be pentatonic so on this one where I'm starting on the D sorry so I'm thinking in D minor pentatonic for this so basic minor box shape would be here on the 10th fret and I'm adding in the E at the top, so F, D, E. Okay, then our second shape would be starting on the D, on the 12th fret. And I'm adding the G here. On this shape here, we're starting on an F on the 15th fret. And I might add in the C at the top and the A. And then if we go underneath our major or minor box shape, sorry, seventh fret, starting on the A. I'm adding in the E and falling down. And then we got one more shape here, starting on the G, right? That's probably what I do, the D, C, A. So what I'm thinking about also then is how I would dismount out of that. So So I want a note either just to, to, to end on the beat. Because I'd have to double pick, right, otherwise. That might work. Not quite. So experiment with different endings, 
that works quite well. Ah. Keep your right hand relaxed throughout this. So yeah, as I say, I'm thinking about maybe ending it on the, the D. Or the A. Or a big jump there is quite interesting. On this one, the octave up to the D sounds quite cool. So ending on the 15th fret up here, what have we got? I want to maybe go up to here on the uh, 19th fret. Or up here to the D on the 19th fret. Cool, right, what have we got down here? Something like that could work. I'm kind of like barring back onto the seventh fret there. All to the A on the tenth fret. Or up to the tenth fret on the E string. Probably that works best on the seventh fret. Or if I was wanting to end on an F major instead of a D minor sound, I could end on. Uh, I could end on that F on the tenth fret. Right, and then what we got this last one. That works quite well. The other thing that I was thinking of was maybe what if we did this kind of thing. So at the bottom, if we go from the D to the A, so with a down, up, then we can just start again at the start of the pattern. So slowly, and you can kind of start wrapping around the, the pattern so that you can just repeat it. Ah, getting caught up on my own fingers. That one's quite tricky. Yeah, right, so that's what I'm gonna be working on. If you get your metronome out, I would suggest this might be a good thing to start trying. Um, I've been starting it at about 100, and two, three, four. And start thinking about Trying to join them up away in a way. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
two, three, four. And you could maybe even take it down so that your roots are on this A string. Ah, four. Ah, two, three, four. Okay, so those are the, the kind of ideas that I'm trying to get familiar with. And there's a couple of them that feel a bit more comfortable than others. And so pushing it to like 130, one, two, three, four. And the reason I'm showing you like there's a way to end it is so that you can think about A, the dismount, and B, so you can try it in bursts like four, two, three, four. So I could do those like a little bit faster because I'm giving myself a rest. Ah. Three, four. And you know, once you start to loop it round, you'll find that that's a really good test of stamina. I think maybe this might be my ceiling at the moment, about 150. Three, four. Two, three, four. Whoops, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. And as I say, you can kind of have like whatever the three notes at the top, the, the, the reason for the three notes is to try and have that uniform pickingness. So you could have like chromaticisms. But the three notes at the top is what's important. So you're going down, up, down, up, down, up. Down up, 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 down up. And I'm thinking that might be a way to get some fairly fast sounding pentatonic things. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Like obviously there's a long way for me to go with this, but that's what I'm thinking could work really nicely. Just having that system, which is down, up, 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 down, up. And with the three notes at the top, So let me know how you get on with that. Was that helpful at all? Have you tried that sort of thing before? 
um, is that working for you? I'm using strict alternate picking, but I can feel that I can get a kind of momentum with that, which is not always super easy to get with these pentatonic runs. I can find, because you're doing two notes per string, they kind of don't necessarily get super flowy in the way that that kind of starting already to feel quite flowy. So let me know how you get on with it and let me know if this is the sort of video that you think I should be doing more of when I get the feeling that I've got something that I'm working on. Um, and again, the backing track and Patreon will be where you can get kind of the worksheet for the things that I'm doing. I've got a few little ideas where I'm ending them differently. You know, and thinking about trying to keep this relatively flexible as I'm practicing it so that I'm seeing it all over the fretboard and I'm not playing the same thing every time. I'm kind of playing this idea rather than playing one specific lick. I'm playing this in all places all over the neck. And I'm seeing different ways to end it. Hey, and you know, obviously flopping it up. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.